Hey everybody, today we're going to show you a demonstration that serves as an introduction to colligative properties or things that change about a solution based on how many particles are dissolved but not what the particles are. You going to wave? Okay. Right, so today we're going to look at how adding salt to some water and ice is going to change the freezing point of the water or having something dissolved in the water is going to change its freezing point, the point at which it would normally freeze. We're gonna start off with some seltzer water. We've got a stirrer, a thermometer, plenty of ice, and some plain salt. So we're gonna put in... I can do that. Okay. Next, we're going to add some salt. Pretty much as much as we can get in there. We're going to make a little bit of a mess. Don't do that. Why? Because we're going to add some water on top. Some more salt. Mm. And a little bit more water. Mm. Now we're going to move everything out of the way. We're going to stir it up. Okay, so we've been at this for a little yeah. while. And some interesting things are happening. We've got some frost, some ice forming on the outside of the beaker now. Normally when there's a cold drink, you just get condensation, but mm -hmm. here we have some frost. Can you feel that frost? Look at that ice forming. You can scratch it. Is that ice or water? Mm, ice. Yeah, some frost is forming on the outside of here. The temperature, it says right now, of the water is five degrees below zero Celsius. And so uh -huh. normally water would freeze at that point, but there's something going on so that the water outside of the container is not freezing. Uh -huh. We've been at this long enough so that we assume that the seltzer yeah. is pretty much at that temperature too, but it also is not freezing. Uh -huh. Now the water, it's pretty clear that we put some salt into it, and that's why it's not freezing. Uh-huh. So that's why it's not freezing, but we did put some of that in, and some of, some ice in, and we put in water in, and we put in sugar in. We didn't put sugar in. So... It seems obvious that the water in the beaker is not freezing because we've put ice in. And so normally, water molecules to become solid have to fit together like puzzle pieces. Yeah. But there are salt ions in the way that get in their way, so they can't way. freeze. Way. So the question so, is... So when we scratch this, it's, it's ice. Yeah. And when we... And when we and when we scratch it to a concentrate. Yeah. And when we and when we bump it, it concentrates. So the ice oops. 
the salt is what's making it so that the water in the beaker is not freezing. And if we could just take all the salt out, then the water in the beaker would freeze. But we can't do that. No. There's something in the seltzer, though, that's making it not freeze. Yeah. But what is it? Well, let's see. So let's take out this seltzer and we'll shake it and open it and see what happens. Are you ready? Okay, so the seltzer is sat in this salt water uh, for about 10 minutes. The salt water is anywhere between negative five and negative yeah, seven. Yeah, la, 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 la. Negative five and negative seven degrees Celsius. So definitely yeah. below the freezing point of water. So we have to assume uh -huh. the seltzer also is at that same temperature, but it is still liquid. So we're going to take the seltzer out. Yeah. Give it a quick shake. Yeah. And open it. Yeah. And watch this, guys. When we open it, it turns into eggs, so that makes sense. A little bit at the top, let's give it another and shake. Yeah. And we say, la, la, 